to convert a number of molecules into a number of atoms, you have to know how many atoms are in each of the molecules. That's what the formula is for. This is a capital C, and that's a capital O. So these are two separate elements. This capital C is just carbon. There's no subscript on it, which means there's an implied subscript of one. There's only one carbon here. If there was more than one, we would have put a little number there. And if there was less than one, there'd be none. And why would you write it there? So there is one carbon there. And then this O oxygen has two. There's two of them because there's a little subscript two there. One carbon and two oxygens is three atoms in that molecule. What you can do is write that as three atoms per molecule. And then maybe it makes it obvious that you'll take the number of molecules, eight, and multiply it by that number of atoms per molecule. That way your molecules unit cancels out and you're left with just atoms. Eight times three is 24 atoms total. That probably makes sense. If you have uh, if you have packages of three, and this is three atoms, and then you have eight of those packages, you have eight times three equals 24 of the things. Great. Now this one is moles, so you'll have to convert that one to molecules yourself. The way that that works is to multiply it by 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. That's Avogadro's number. That's now in molecules. And then you multiply it by however many atoms are in the molecule itself. Four of those and 10 of those makes 14. Great. Now I'm going to do all that on my calculator all at once. 0.7 moles times 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules per mole times 14 atoms per molecule. I end up with 5.902 times 10 to the 24 with significant figures that actually ends up being 6 times 10 to the 24 atoms. That only had one significant figure there, so I can only use one significant figure there. Um, this was an exact number, and that's an exact number. Like, there's no rounding to be done there. You just counted how many of those there are, and you counted how many of those there are. So this has infinite significant figures. That's why I didn't have to worry about it there. Here, though, that's a measured amount. I had to round to sig figs. Anyways, you're not here for that. You're here for the conversion of molecules to atoms. How many atoms are in this molecule? There's three oxygens. The answer is three. So you'll take this number and times it by three. You may not need a calculator to do that, but if you do, go ahead, free country. It's 9.6 times 10 to the power of 21 atoms. Because again, you have this many molecules and then there's three oxygens in each of those packages. So just triple the number and you get the number of atoms. Beautiful. Hope that made sense. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.